Hello, Hoover students, families, and staff. Today is Monday, April 20th, 2020, and I would like you now to please join us in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, and hello again, Hoover students, staff, and families. It's wonderful to be coming to you today. Uh, I hope the weekend treated everyone well, and we're going to be looking forward to having a great week ahead. Uh, Hoover students, uh, please continue to uh, keep working hard, doing your best, and doing your best work at completing your uh, distance learning uh, items. Uh, I want to thank all our teachers and staff top to bottom for all the uh, above and beyond effort uh, you have been doing to, in supporting our distance learning. And again, a huge shout out to our parents and families. Uh, we do value and appreciate the partnership and support uh, you are each doing. So thank you for that. Uh, this past week, families provided us some very valuable feedback. Please continue to reach out to us. Uh, we are here to support uh, and work alongside you 100%. Uh, just also want to give a reminder that every weekday um, from school, at school at Hoover, uh, between 11 and 1230, you're able to come up and grab a grab-and-go meal. Uh, any kind of food you'd like to grab, it's prepackaged. Uh, some breakfast items or lunch item, you can grab those for students. Uh, our Hoover staff is out uh, each day. So look for, uh, there's a school bus parked outside front of Hoover. That's just your reminder to come on by uh, and grab a free lunch. Uh, so free meals and get some free food picked up. So we hope to have uh, many more parents and families taking advantage of that. Uh, we also uh, are plowing through our Hoover Book Character Challenge. Uh, and so here is an update now uh, after our first set of voting for uh, our favorite book characters. And these were from the classroom and the hallway region. Hello, Hoover students, families, and staff. Here is our first bracket update. Uh, we had almost 200 votes cast uh, in this uh, voting for the first two regions uh, that concluded Friday evening. So let's take a peek at how the matchups played out. Here our top seed Ramona came away with a convincing win, getting 76% of the vote. Here in what we thought would be a contested 8 versus 9 matchup, Captain Underpants held his own. Uh, to 68% to 32% uh, vote. Here, in a very tight matchup, uh, with 51% of the vote, Waldo. Waldo holds off Arthur to take the win in this matchup. In our 413 matchup, uh, Diary of a Wimpy Kid comes in with 72%. Of the vote. Here, uh, Alexander and the Little Prince. Alexander had no problems making this one a very good day, uh, taking in 76% of the vote. Here, uh, Frog and Toad go went up against Cinderella, and Frog and Toad came away with 55% of the vote in this one. In another closely contested matchup here, Winnie the Pooh came through strong, getting 52% of the vote to Gerald and Piggy getting 48%. It was a close, hard-fought matchup. Uh, Winnie the Pooh uh, comes out and gets the honey. And in this matchup, Llama Llama easily handles Karen from the Babysitter's Club, getting 80% of the vote. Now on to Charlotte versus Sal, and one of the more convincing wins. Uh, Charlotte gets 87% of the vote here to take uh, the win. In this 8-9 matchup, Max takes 69% of the vote in this one. Here, Harold and his purple crayon took out Edward Tulane. Harold got 77% of the vote in this one. 
This one was the most closely contested matchup here. It was a 4-13, Clifford versus Wilbur. And Clifford, the big red dog, comes out in a big way, grabbing a 51% of the vote, and that was literally by two votes. So congratulations to Clifford. Wilbur, uh, you made it a good run. Here, a little bit of an upset here. David from No David knocked out Pinkalicious. David grabbed 59% of the vote to Pinkalicious, only getting 41%. Here was a big upset with Garfield. Got his lasagna, 65% of the vote over Katniss Everdeen. Miss Frizzle. Continues her adventures by grabbing 76% of the vote in this matchup with Nancy Drew. And finally here, the 15 seed Cat in the Hat. Maybe not the right seed for Cat in the Hat, but here he goes. 62% of the vote over the Berenstain Bears. All right, Hoover students, staff, and families, pretty exciting results. Uh, the next set of voting is open now. Uh, please go online to that Google form and uh, vote. Make those selections for your favorite book character uh, from our cafeteria and playground regions. Uh, with that, uh, we're looking forward to having a great week ahead. Uh, Hoover students, staff, and families, always remember... Be respectful, be responsible, and have integrity. Make it a great day.